Alright, I decided that since I already went through all this level in a recording, I'm just gonna speed it up and put music over it. So... Yep. the remote. So anyways, now we are done with this level, and as I stated in the description for the last one, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'll say Tongue next instead of Frankensteinfeld, because I'd like to spread out the two spooky levels as much as possible, since the last one was still pretty recent. So here we go, into Kung Fu Theater. Also, I'm not sure if that's pronounced Mao or Mo, because I don't know anything about Chinese, but I'm going to assume that it's Mao. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, um, as with all first run-throughs, I'm just going to be collecting stuff, not really having any particular goal. I thought there was like a hidden thingy in here. I know that there's a hidden thingy somewhere. If you, like, hit a sign, and it opens up something. I think it's this one. Maybe? I don't know. It, like, opens up a wall. Yeah. I knew there was something there. Alright, so, which way should I go? There's Crazy Quang's medical supply. And here is Crazy Quang's clothing. And since I'm closer, I'll go into this one. This is where I'll go first. Hopefully, I won't have a problem with getting enough collectibles. Here we've got takeout boxes. Because this level is not above being stereotypical. Ah. These ninjas are kind of a pain. It's also a pain when the collectibles get stuck inside the wall like that. Luckily, I was able to get them all. Gong makes some stairs go up, I guess. Now I've got to break down the walls and stuff. Check for the random takeout boxes. I guess you can bounce on those yin yangs. Used ox sails. Interesting. Here I've got some sort of Shogun or Samurai thing. Even though I think those are Japanese, not Chinese. I don't know. Okay, bank. Good time mess. Uh, like, that says message, not massage. Uh, okay, that already has a picture of Gex on it. I guess they were expecting him to show up. I don't want to go down there, because I think that's, like, the entrance to the level. Uh, I kind of want to jump over there, because there might be stuffses. And I was incorrect. Whoa, what's up with that? That doesn't look right. 
I'm wondering if it's supposed to be like that as a parody of like a bad sign or if that's just a glitch in the ROM. Ah. Ah! No, oh, I fell. Chester A. Arthur fall down. So now I gotta go back, isn't that fun? Because watching things that I've already done is always exciting. I like this music, though. Chopstick repair. There's some fairly amusing signs here. Chinese dun dinner, American lunch, eat and take out. Uh, 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 what was the point of that? It wasn't even difficult to figure out. Uh, oh, there's a fire-breathing head thing probably a polygon swap of the fire breathing heads from smell razor I was gonna say a sprite swap but they don't use sprites they use polygons uh, okay I guess I gotta use this cannon here there's what appears to be the way out that gong did nothing noticeable that gong rose some stairs up I wonder what that other one did. Who knows? I certainly don't. Anyway, moving on. Another ninja. How surprising. Okay, now I guess I'm collecting yin yangs. Wait, ninjas are Japanese too, aren't they? Uh, this level's all mixed up. Check that. I don't want to miss anything, so I'm checking all over the place. Use junk. Oh, mm. a junk is a kind of a boat. I don't know if I can handle the punishment. Actually, it's not even really a pun. That wasn't that bad, actually. I found that kind of clever. Okay, let's kill this dude. There's some giant-ass scorpions. They remind me of the huge bugs from Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation. Some of the later levels in that had some really huge freaking bugs for no real reason. Like the one where you're being chased by a minotaur the entire time. God, that level was awful. That level was buggy, too, because there's a part where you have to climb a wall. Or, I mean, you have to climb up this ladder as a door closes behind you. And the minotaur thing is coming at you. And when it stomps on the ground, you fall off the wall. I mean, the ladder. Keep saying wall. Yeah, you fall off the ladder. So if the door closes behind you, there's no way to open it from the inside. And the thing keeps knocking you off, so there's no way to climb it unless you reset. But, since you can save anywhere in those games, you can save yourself in there and be completely screwed over, like, a good 30 or so hours into the game. And that's what bug testers are for. Oh, come on. Where did all the things go? And I must also point out that Gex is very, I don't know what you'd say, skilled in the martial arts if he can take out so many ninjas with so little effort. I guess it's not really martial arts if all you're doing is swinging your tail around, though. Note to all wannabe ninjas, grow a tail. Going here. Come on. I can't tell. I'll go in here anyway. Uh, I'm doing on time. I've got about a minute left. Yeah, this is going to be another one of those save state levels. 
least get the silver. Or no, I won't be able to get the silver, but I can get... Now I'm collecting funky masks. Lots of decent quotes in this level that I can make into, le into YouTube video titles. I wonder which one I'll pick. Okay, 30 seconds left. Probably shouldn't keep cutting it close like this, but I like to get as much as I can done in one segment. Pretty good amount of collectibles here. I'm really, really hoping that I'll be able to get all the ones that I need. Oh, now I gotta fight ninjas too? Jeez. Or black ninjas, I mean. Oh crap, I'm out of time. Uh, save state. 